What's up, what's up everyone? Adrian Morrison here. I wanna welcome you to the Profit Power Hour. What's going on? Um, <clears throat> now, we had an epic presentation last week and uh, it was really fun, really exciting. Uh, we got tons of phenomenal feedback about it. So we're gonna be talking a little bit more about um, you know, this in the future and we're going to be talking about how we can get you onto a new model for profiting with e-commerce and how we can get you to evolve with e-commerce. And that is what is so awesome about this webinar is you get to attend this webinar for free every single week and you get to learn um, the new things that I'm learning and that I'm implementing in my business. So <clears throat> I'm excited to have you here. Excuse me if I clear my throat a little bit. I have some uh, some allergies, I believe. But um, everybody's piling in the room right now. So just go ahead if you can hear me. Uh, I'm not sharing my webcam right now, but if you can hear me, go ahead and type in yes in the questions box so uh, my team can monitor that and just make sure that you guys can hear me and see my screen and all that good stuff so we can get going. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up our, <coughs> excuse me, our uh, typical welcome screen. And while everybody's joining us, I just want to go ahead, go over um, the usual introduction and uh, housekeeping rules for the Profit Power Hour, okay? So uh, what you see right now is our welcome screen. We have this up every week. And at the tip top, um, you're going to see where it says start your free Shopify store. Now, Shopify has given me a special link. Uh, they just gave it to me about maybe four weeks ago. And uh, it's profitph.com slash Shopify. And that will take you to a page with a picture of my face on it where you can get a 30-day free trial when you start a new store. Now, when it comes to starting a new store, um, and, and getting this trial, some of you might ask yourself, you know, I've already got a store up and running. Should I <clears throat> close that store and start another one? No, probably not. Not unless you uh, want to open up a second store or something like that. Would you go through and use this link? Um, now, if you've already started a store, but you you did not start a store under my link, my partner link with Shopify, and you want to enjoy the benefits that I give my students that sign up for stores through my link, and you haven't really started and got much going, then you might go to this link and, and sign up and, and start your Shopify store. That way, um, you're under my partner link, and Shopify watches my students and the performance of my training, the performance of my students, and um, you know, obviously, I give my students benefits, right? Uh, different perks and benefits. Um, that I could see under my link and we do little promos and, and uh, contests and challenges and stuff like that. So just uh, check it out. On the right hand side, we have my social media. Uh, I'm pretty active on Instagram and Facebook. We talked about Instagram a little bit last week. Um, a lot of you DM'd me, so I responded to quite a bit of you. So definitely check out Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. I, I release a free video every Friday on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to YouTube, check that out. Um, on the left-hand side, we've got different tools that we recommend. So these are uh, optional Shopify apps, and um, some of them can help automate your store and help build your email list and help increase conversion rates and, and Facebook tracking. And um, you got Shine On, which is a great custom uh, jewelry app that's completely free, so you can start selling custom jewelry. So always check those out, all right? <clears throat> now, if you're brand spanking new to the Profit Power Hour, um, I just wanna give you a quick little run through of, of what's going on here. So um, every week I do these webinars, they're completely free. And it's it really kind of keeps you up to date with um, you know what I'm doing in my business and what I'm learning as well. So all of you have access to your Access Adrian portal. And um, inside of this portal, what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start better utilizing this news feed at the top. So 
that way if some of you don't get my emails because sometimes some of my emails hit your spam box or whatever uh make sure that you check out the news feed because each week we'll be publishing um a, a essentially a news announcement and it's going to go over what we are doing this week and what you're going to be learning on the webinar so on and so forth so this one was posted um earlier today uh and it talked about tonight's webinar so I'm really excited about tonight's webinar because we're announcing yet another giveaway, all right? So we're announcing a giveaway uh, of a done for you Shopify store. So last week was epic because we gave away a $15,000 program that I had put together um, and we, we had a great, it was Entronique who won. So we're really excited about that. And uh, now we're about to give away a $5,000 giveaway next week. So we'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. But again, if you're new, um, you know, always log in here, check out um, all the updates in the news feed. Like we did an update on the Ecom cheat code and the bonuses that were available last week. Um, we also have access over here to my courses and software. You should see the profit power hour emblem here. And if you click on that, that should take you to a completely free member area where you can see um, all of the replays from previous weeks. So if you click on replays 2021, um, you'll see last week we released the Ecom Cheat Code program and gave away a $15,000 giveaway. And you can hover your mouse over my profile photo, subscribe on YouTube, and that way when these private videos are released, you will get notified and you will never miss them, which is really, really important. So um, this webinar series doesn't really go hand in hand 100% with what you might be learning in Ecom Quick Start or uh, you know, in Ecom Success Academy. So this is kind of a series on its own where we teach you what's, what we're doing in our business right this very second. So if you're in ESA, Ecom Success Academy, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Elite, um, and Emerald, then you know, you're gonna be learning different things with throughout the course and throughout the coaching. And then you'll still wanna get on these webinars here because I'm gonna be teaching you a lot of other things that are gonna help you in your business. So I hope, hope that that clears things up if you're new. And if you are new, I just simply want to welcome you to the Profit Power Hour. Now, uh, tonight what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be announcing another giveaway. We're giving away $5,000 in value. And I'm gonna be talking about two new Ecom Profit models that I got bombarded with last week. We had so many questions about um, the difference between these two models, which one was the best, and how, how do you choose, and which one's the most profitable. And so we're gonna be going over those today. And last week we also, we did release the Ecom Cheat Code, which was epic. It was such an amazing webinar where I brought together what I called the Ecom Dream Team, uh, Rachel, Jared, and Connor, myself. And uh, we released this program. We give away some epic bonuses. So if you've gotten that, congrats. Um, so the Ecom Cheat Code was released last week with some really cool bonuses. For those of you that are asking about those bonuses, um, the uh, Facebook Marketplace, uh, rapid results with Rachel. That's going up in 24 hours. I got the video content. It took a little while to get it, edit it, you know, convert it, and all that good stuff. Um, Connor's product pipeline is going to be starting pretty soon. Your predictive calculator is already in here and ready to go. And then um, <clears throat> the uh, virtual mastermind that we're doing for the Ecom Cheat Code members, where Connor does four weekly mastermind training sessions um, on building a subscription business. Those dates will come, be in here within the next day or two, okay? So if you're waiting on all those bonuses, they're coming. Um, it's just, you know, we're working with a lot of really high level marketers here and trying to get them all in one place at the same time, but um, we're making it happen. And the bonuses in Drop Pro, that will be in there uh, in a couple of days as well. So those are some really epic bonuses that we put together. Uh, but for now, what I want you to do is I want you to just jump in to the Facebook group, tell everybody that we're doing another store, a done for you built store giveaway. Uh, we're gonna be choosing a winner next week for that. And we're gonna be talking about these two new e-commerce models. Now, 
I'm not able to share my webcam right now because, <clears throat> well, to be honest, I just look terrible. Uh, been a long day of traveling and packing um, as we are headed back to Mississippi. So I'm going to let you focus on the screen tonight. And, um, you know, that way you are fully focused on uh, <laughs> what I'm teaching instead of like my really crazy hair. Uh, and I need a haircut bad. And I'm pretty dang sunburnt too because we've been. I went out to the beach and I sat in the water for like two hours in the ocean and I got pretty toasted. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw that. Uh, so go to our, our group, facebook.com slash group slash profit PH. Uh, we have 18,000 amazing people in here. And if you're not a member here yet, just simply go to the URL, the link that's on the screen right now and apply. And you'll be able to join our PPH group. We'll have you in within 24 hours or so. And we'll have you ready to go. We'll have you ready to start popping and, uh, <clears throat> you know, socializing and networking with all of the amazing people in this Facebook group. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about, um, let's talk a little bit about what we're going to go over tonight. All right. So number one, we are announcing that I am going to give away another $5,000 done for you built Shopify store. So my team will go in, build your logo for your brand, build your banner, set up your Shopify, like they build the framework of a Shopify store for you. So then you only have to go in and list your products, all right? Put products in it and uh, it's a really epic value and it's a great way for a lot of people to jumpstart their business because a lot of people fail because they failed to get started, right? And, and I wanna just go ahead and I want to just get to the very bottom of the screen here. This is like, man, two years worth of notes or something that we've gone over in PPH, 107 pages of playbook notes, it's, it's wild. But I want you to go ahead and I want you to just type in, um, you know, most people fail because they fail to get started. All right. And the second line is, is really important, right? Most people fail because they fail to get started. And that would be probably, if I just guesstimated, right? That would be about 99.9% mm, .9 of the people that fail uh, fail for that very reason. It's because they failed to get started. So the done for you Shopify store is designed to get you started and eliminate obstacles. It's done right. The settings are right. The logo is done. All the tedious junk that you got to do, right, that most people don't do or get stuck at, gets done for you. How many of you in here would agree that could really help you overcome a lot of the uh, obstacles that paralyze a complete newbie when it comes to getting started. Just say me, just say yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. So we're gonna be doing that giveaway. <clears throat> but the second thing is that we're gonna be talking about here, all right, is going to be a new, all right, I would say two paths to success with a brand new e-commerce model using Shopify. All right, so we're gonna talk about two paths to success with a brand new model using your Shopify store. All right, so um, another important piece of the puzzle here is, you know, a lot of people, they try to force a, a a square peg into a round hole. Have y'all ever seen that before? Um, have you ever heard that before? Just that some people try to force a round up peg or a square peg into a, a round hole. Just say yes, if you've heard that phrase before. And say, you know what, say me, if you're guilty of doing that before, right? Of course, right? We all are guilty of it. And sometimes, shifting your business sometimes making a pivot in your business is every is everything for your success meaning 
um, you can continue to do the same thing over and over and over again that's not working, that's not producing results, and wishing and hoping and praying that something will change, but at the end of the day, nothing changes, then nothing changes. So how do you how do you force a change in your business from zero to making your first dollar? Or how do you force a change in your business from um, a negative to a positive, right? From a loss to a profit. You have to make a change. And that's why I always say e-commerce evolves. E-commerce evolves and those that don't evolve with it fall behind and inevitably give up, right? Those that pivot, those that are on the cutting edge, they are the ones that are always making the money. And it doesn't even matter if it's e-com, this is any business model out there, right? You must pivot and you must evolve. And so the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about subscription marketing. We even released the uh, e-com cheat code last week, uh, which taught the ins and outs of every crevice of subscription marketing. Um, a lot of you got in, a lot of you didn't, right? A lot of you, maybe it wasn't the right time or it wasn't within your budget. Um, it was not something I could give away for free because I essentially was using other people's training. They put together this training, right? And let me package it up uh, for you all. So I couldn't get that done for free. But um, a lot of you started doing research on the subscription model and you're intrigued by it because you saw the numbers. You saw that you know you can create one product that generates 10 sales a day and potentially earn six figures a year in net profit with just 10 products a day. Now, that's insane when you really think about it. And you know, when somebody that is thinking about um, when when somebody's thinking about getting started and what it takes to succeed, right? And they see all of these other e-commerce stores, they see all of these other uh, you know entrepreneurs, um, all of these other entrepreneurs that are uh, running their business at a very high level. At a very high level, what happens is they get um, they get a little freaked out, right? They get a little freaked out. And they say, okay, well, how am I going to run my business at this level? How am I going to run this business at the level this guy is running at 10 grand a day or 20 grand a day, uh, 20, 20 grand a day, so on and so forth? And it really is another one of those things that keeps them from getting started. It's one of those things that um, keeps them from getting started, which ultimately leads to failure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for my dogs. Uh, so we're, we're getting in and you know, there's a lot of stuff coming in and out of the house and everything right now, so the dogs are going a little bit crazy. Uh, but what's really neat about these two new paths is they eliminate that big, broad view of, of people uh, thinking that you have to do high volume to succeed, right? So, um, you know, typically high volume sales is required to hit large profits and revenue, right? So when you see someone earning $10,000 per day, um, you know, they're getting it, they're getting probably 100 plus sales per day right so if you have a goal of getting to $10,000 per day and you're getting started in this business and you're like well geez i mean that's 100 sales a day how the heck am i going to generate 100 sales a day as a complete beginner and that would paralyze you does that make sense y'all just go ahead and say yes, if that makes sense to you. Um, the thing is, with this new model of e-commerce, with this new model of success, 
you don't have to have 100 sales per day, 10 sales a day, 20 sales a day, right? So not anymore, all right? So you could generate up to $10,000 per day perpetually, right? And over time, all right, so you could generate $10,000 per day perpetually over time with, I'll spell that right, I get it, I know, it's a, there's a typo. All right, there we go, I got it fixed. Perpetually over time with just a few sales per day, all right? Just a few sales per day. Think about that. $10,000 per day. Um, and this would happen through compounding. And what I mean by compounding is we are compounding sales, um, recurring revenue, and we're doing it over time, and we're doing it with one or two different products and one single niche, and we're doing it um, with just a, a few sales a day. Um, over time, or when I say a few, I probably should say, you know, more than a few, maybe like 10 to 20 sales per day um, would, would probably be more accurate uh, and realistic here, right? Does that make sense, y'all? Just go ahead and say yes, if that makes sense. So what I want to do is I want to pull up our whiteboard here, and I want to I want to draw this, this out for you, okay? Um, I think that in 2021, everyone should be doing this and going into 2022 everyone should be doing this right here okay so this is the model that we want to look at and it is the ecom subscription model all right ecom subscription model and what i want you to do is i want you to do research I want you to start looking. I want you to start um, I want you to start noticing things as you're shopping around online. So step one is awareness. Okay? So once you're aware of the things that you're typically blind to, it changes everything for your business. Everything changes when you have awareness and you're looking at other businesses and you're doing research. You're, lo you're looking at other um, you know, e-commerce stores and you're like, how are they doing so much volume? How are they selling so many items, right? You don't know what it is you don't know, but if you look to see what they're doing, you will find a lot of them have jumped onto this e-commerce subscription model that we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks. And so step number two is, once you have the awareness and you're doing that research, right? The second step is make a list. of e-com stores, okay? So step number two is gonna be, make a list of e-commerce stores that you see that are constantly running ads. We're talking about ones that are um, viral, ones that you see often, right? Um, ones that have a lot of likes, shares, right? Ones that are, consistent all right i've always said that when it comes to success um you don't have to invent the will what you do is you let some other person take on the blood the sweat the tears the stress and they lose their money figuring out what works and then you duplicate the winning model. Does that make sense, right? So what we're doing in step number two here is we are looking to just simply 
duplicate a winning model. All right, and for lack of a better term, we're looking really to copy and paste winners, okay? And when I say copy and paste, I don't mean like literally copy and paste. Um, what I mean is, you know, if you see the product, if you see the niche, if you see the, the brand and you see what they're selling and you see their, their style and their model of selling, what's gonna happen is you're going to catch on. You're gonna have that what's called a step number two, as simple as it sounds, what this is gonna do is it's gonna create for you that ah ha moment. I'm gonna create that aha moment. And the aha moment typically is well, this is a terrible light bulb, but the aha moment is that light bulb that goes off in your head that um, it's that moment that you realize, oh, this is what works, right? This is what's this is what's working for everyone. That's what gives you that aha moment. And so instead of blindly chasing success, right? Looking at what other people are doing that's working right now, that's gonna give you that big aha moment that could change everything for your business. Does that make sense, right? All right, and so in doing this, I followed step one and step two. I became aware of what was working. I compiled a list of other stores that I found, right, that were winning, like Snow Teeth Whitening and Kino Body and Pier One and Radio Shack, even the big boys, right, even the big, big, big guns out there. Um, I was looking at what they're doing because they're the big guns for a reason, right? Radio Shack, uh, Pier One, were dead. They were pretty much dead. Ty Lopez, my good friend, um, bought those companies, revamped them, and has made them pretty successful, right? Why? Because Ty does the exact same thing. If, if you don't know Ty, he's a brilliant entrepreneur, but Ty does this same thing. He's always studying. He's always aware. He's always looking at at what's going on, right? He's not self-involved. He's not beating uh, a dead horse. He's not trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. He's trying to look for the easiest way to success, just like I do, just like so many other great entrepreneurs do. And then he started making a list of all of the, the stores that were successful, right? He started looking at what are the successful online e-commerce stores doing? And that gave him that aha moment, right? Uh, maybe it wasn't in the subscription model or exactly an aha moment you may have, but it gave him, myself, so many people, these aha moments where we're like, ah, that's what works. That's how you win. And once you have that aha moment, right? And once you know where that, that winning model is, that winning model is, um, all you have to do is copy and paste it, right? Essentially, you can copy that model, clone that model on your own stores, all right? So let's talk about these two different paths. We, y'all are aware, right? You need to start making a list of other stores and doing some research, just look at Facebook ads and go to Amazon and go to you know, uh, other big stores online, like Pier One and whatnot. And, and Radio Shack, I mean, I'll, I'll give you an example here, just a second, Radio Shack, okay? And uh, these, these big, big, big uh, guns, look at what they're doing. And step number three is essentially choose path to replicate or duplicate or to copy. Now, let me just show you what I mean. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna jump over here to Radio Shack. Massive, massive, massive e-commerce company now. Used to be little stores in the mall, now a huge e-commerce company. All right, so here we are um, on Radio Shack's website. All right, 
And we're looking at, we're, what we're doing here is they have a whole hot product section. So they're looking at, you know, these retro boom boxes. Look, all right, so right now we can see what is hot on RadioShack.com. What is what are they really going all in on right now when you go to their home page? Uh, well, I mean, I could see that on their home page, they're saying two of their top hot products are these retro, um, these, <clears throat> excuse me, these retro boom boxes, right? Uh, with a cassette player and Bluetooth. So these are hot right now. And uh, they're selling these for $50 or so. Okay. So what if, I came over here to say AliExpress and typed in retro boombox. <clears throat> All right, 28,000 results for retro boombox. Now, of course, when you type in boombox um, on AliExpress, what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of just non retro uh, stuff come up. So you might have to do a, li a little bit of digging or you might need to play with your words a little bit um, on on the search but what you want to do is you want to come in here and try to find something similar to that right Duh. does that make sense um so you could even come in here and say retro cassette <clears throat> if i spelled cassette right let's see if i did there we go. So cassette boombox. Um, again, we'll probably have to do a little bit of digging um, to find a, a to find what we're looking for here. But that's where it all starts, right? It all starts right there. So boombox, and make it one word. Type in retro boombox, right? So you're gonna go through and you're gonna to try to find something similar. Try to find that retro style boom box that you could see is hitting really hard and that they're going in really hard on um, with, with Radio Shack. And look, there's 20 plus thousand things we can go through here. Most of them are going to be the typical uh, Bluetooth boom box that we see everybody has, all right? What we're looking for is that golden nugget. It's gonna require that we do just a little bit of scrolling. Just a little bit of scrolling. Does that make sense? Just go ahead and say yes, if that makes sense. Go ahead and say yes, if that makes sense to you. If you're willing to scroll. Awesome, awesome. All right, so I could see that a lot of you in here are willing to scroll, which is great. So you wanna choose a path, you wanna replicate it, and you wanna see if you can find something similar that is also quite unique that you can benefit from, all right? Now, uh, I'm just trying to see if I can get my charger in real quick, hold on. Let's see if I can get this charger to come through because I'm running out of battery on my phone here, or not my phone, but on my laptop. One second. Let's see if this will maybe change things for it real fast. It's the only problem with doing stuff from your laptop. Okay, it looks like I got it charging now. Good. All right, so like I was saying, you want to go through here and you want to try to find something unique. All right, so that's step number one. And that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people go in and say, okay, I found a product. That's great. That is part one of being aware. But don't just look at the surface level of what a company is doing to succeed. We can go find similar products to this. Without a doubt, we can find similar products to it. Just have to scroll a little bit on AliExpress or find, um, you know, find the right keyword to put in, you know, like this. Uh, maybe we put this in, and I'm not going to sit here and dig. Um, uh, whoops, I, I copied the wrong thing. Um, but maybe we copy what, exactly what's on here, and we jump over to AliExpress or Zendrop, and we take a look for it, right? Um, that pulled up nothing, so that was a failed attempt. Uh, you don't always win. But the second thing is, where are they really making their money? Are they really making their money selling this? Or is this a lead magnet, essentially, a lead magnet? 
Uh, and what I mean by a lead magnet is a really cool product designed to get you to buy with the intent of profiting another way. And we know that from last week, what we talked about in the week before, um, you know, a lot of these websites, a lot of these companies are now doing a rewards program, a subscribe and save program. They're doing subscription. So when I go in and I add this product to my shopping cart, right, what we're going to notice is they're going to push us to subscribe into their rewards program. So watch this. On the right hand corner, you'll see that they have this little toggle that says for $9.99 a month, we could be a part of their rewards program. Okay. And a part of being in their rewards program means that you get free returns, free shipping, and an extra 10% off. Does that make sense to everyone? It's just you're paying a small minimal monthly fee to save far more than 10 bucks because shipping in itself is typically $10. So it's a literally a no brainer to add this if you shop on Radio Shack a good bit, right? So what we're doing is we are number one, we are trying to become more aware of where the money really is. Y'all, where is the money on this product page? It's not in the product that's being sold. The money is in that rewards program that you see at the bottom right. That's where it's at because that is a subscription rebuild that they're getting people into. This will allow them to generate money from the same customer that buys this boom box every single month, whether they come back and shop or not. It is a subscription, just like when you subscribe to Netflix. Whether you log in Netflix and watch it or not, you're still getting billed. When you uh, open up a cell phone plan with, say, you know, T-Mobile or whatever it is, all right, whether you call people on your phone or not, you're still going to pay your phone bill, right? That's just simply how it works. So you have to stop, like, consumers, right? They focus on the product here. Oh, the iPhone, the fancy or viral product, whatever it is. Marketers are looking at where is the real money made? And the real money is made where the fortune is in the follow with then the phrase, the fortune is in the follow-up, right? It's in the back end. And so what I want to show you all tonight, and what I've been showing you for the past couple of, of weeks is this vision and this awareness that I now have. And so what I'm doing now is I'm looking at other companies, other e-com stores. We're not just talking about, um, you know, the big ones, right? We're not just talking about the pure ones um, and the radio shacks, all right? So we're talking about your average, um, you know, <clears throat> mom and pop small business store stores online as well. But I mean, look, even if we were to come over to here uh, and click on candles on, on pier one and click on this. I mean, look, I mean, how many of you can go to AliExpress and find candles, right? That have little sayings on the front of them. And then look at this. What are they doing over here um, to the right? They're saying get more and pay less. So this is a product here. This is another example of a product that would be um, replenishable. Okay. So what I mean by that is, yeah, sure. They're doing the whole, look, $9.99 a month, join a rewards program. You could charge people a monthly fee to get future discounts. There's nothing wrong with that. So when people buy something from your Shopify store, what do you do? You say, hey, look, for $9 a month, you can get 10% off of your uh, all future purchases and you can give them all these little you know, perks and whatnot. And, you know, a good portion of those people will add the product to the cart, just like a good portion of people that walk in a gas station buy a Snickers because it's in front of their face, right? But this particular product right here is a great example because it's a replenishable product. I think we could all agree that candles burn, right? Candles burn and they burn out. And when you run out of this candle, right? Well, this is a flameless candle right? But when you run out of, a when the candle burns out, what do you do? 
you buy another candle, right? So candles are really, really great product for subscription services because candles are a replenishable product. They're a product that people need to purchase when they run out of the product. So uh, when we start talking about subscription services here, right? You start thinking about, oh wait, candles are a really great idea, but how do I just, how do I get people to buy a regular old candle? Well, look at this. You probably could go and find on AliExpress candles or Zen Drop that have little phrases and sayings on them. Um, this says, you're all kind of amazing mom. Okay, so this is called the Mom Pink Champagne Filled Three Wick Candle, okay? So let's jump over here to um, AliExpress. Let's just type in candle, okay? Look at all of the candles that are here. Now, obviously, one of the first things I wanna do is sort this by what's getting the most orders. Now, here's a great, really great example of something that's niche-oriented uh, and related right here. These little candles here that light things up. Um, <clears throat> you've got these really modern bubble candles, okay? Um, you've got the body candles, you've got birthday candles, you've got you know some really interesting, it looks like right now, these types of candles, uh, these cube bubble candles are what are, what are hitting really hard. So when, when we talk about selling candles, don't think about, oh, I'm just selling a boring candle. How do I market that? You can really niche down uh, with, with candles. You can find candle covers and candle plates and um, all sorts of really amazing things here. And so what I like about these is they are replenishable products. And when, when you run out of these, when these burn out right here, look how cheap they are. When these burn out right here, um, they're going to need to buy, your customer is going to probably want to buy another one. They're going to want to buy a second, a third, a fourth. And this is where a uh, subscription program uh, really comes in handy. So if we come over here to Zendrop, which is the drop shipping company that I really uh, recommend here, um, you'll see that they have this humidifier, romantic uh, cam candle thing. They have these aloe bay uh, chakra candles, apparently. Um, look at this. These are really interesting, actually. So they have these, uh, you know, candle uh, holders. You can import products directly from AliExpress um, into Zendrop. So there's some really neat things that we could do here, um, you know, and still use Zendrop as well if that's what you're using and you want to use. And, and we highly recommend um, you continue to use, right? So it's it's just really important, I guess, today as I start talking about these, these paths that you want to replicate. What path do you want to focus on and do you want to have success with? Do you want to focus on the path of churn and burn, find new viral products, sell viral products every day, right? So let's talk about these paths. I had to unplug my iPad because it was, it was uh, taking on my computer's charge, all right? So let's talk about these paths. Remember, we said on our iPad, step three was choose a path to duplicate or replicate. All right, so path one was turn and burn viral products. So sit around and sell viral products day in, day out, hoverboards, fidget spinners, so on and so forth. Okay. Uh, path number two is um, churn and burn, but with a subscription. What's the difference between path number one and path number two? Can, can anybody tell me what the difference would be between path number one and path number two? So path number one is not allowing you to profit from previous customers. Path number one is literally real churn and burn. And, and you're stuck always having to look for a new product that's hot, that can get a lot of attention and can get a lot of sales. Path number two is churn and burn, which is always be finding like that hot product, right? That people wanna buy right now. And, um, 
you know, have subscription uh, on the back end of it. So you get people into a subscription model. So, you know, you're always looking for new hot viral products to sell, but you're still earning money from the people that bought the products from you previously. Uh, so like with uh, Radio Shack, for example, you buy the boom box. The boom box isn't always going to be hot. It's not always going to be a viral product. It's not always going to be a banger, you know, for your Facebook ads or, or YouTube ads or Google shopping ads. Eventually, the boom box is going to phase out and there's going to be a, another product that's hot that people are looking for right now. Does that make sense? But you've got people into this subscription, right? So let's say a membership subscription. Does that make sense, y'all? All right. And then you have path number three, which is a evergreen refill or replenishable product um, that goes into a subscribe and save or monthly box. All right, let's talk about that. This is the old way, right, up here. This is the old basic way, just so you all know. The two new paths that I want to talk about moving forward are the ones that are below us, all right? Most people choose to duplicate path number one, which is, oh, man, you know, I did it for a long time. It, it it hurts, it, you know, you're gonna have ups, you're gonna have downs, most certainly. But with path number two and three, these two new paths uh, to success, right? One of them is very, very similar to what you already do and what I've been teaching for years, which is find hot products that generate a lot of sales and a lot of customers. And the only difference is now, we're pitching them on a membership subscription. We're pitching them on, you know, when they buy. Um, if you sign up for our rewards program and become a member, then you can get 10% off or 15% off or 20% off everything in the future, anything and everything, right? And so not much changes to your model. Really what you do is you, it's a bolt-on. It's a, it, it is a complete, bolt on to your e-commerce store. You can continue doing anything and everything that you're currently doing right now and bolt on a membership subscription or rewards program. And immediately, if you're generating sales, see more success. Does that make sense? Type in path number two, if that makes sense. Go ahead and type in path number two. Okay. Now, the downside with path number two, well, we're gonna talk about the ups and downs and the goods and the bads and the pros and the cons. Um, the problem with, with this one is, well, I wouldn't say problem, but it, it's more work. It's more work because you're still reliant on churning and burning hot products. You're still reliant on always marketing something that's trendy and that's viral and that, you know, super super niche related and um finding the audiences that will relate to this so let's let's just you know let's take a look at some of these all right so um these are going to be super niche related okay um these are still going to require you turn and burn okay means turn and burn new products that are hot today but not hot tomorrow fidget spinners hoverboards so on and so forth and you're going to have typically um typically smaller audiences meaning that you're going to um you know you're really going to be hitting smaller niche related audiences um to sell specific products like the retro boom box that's a pretty niche um, audience or you could just target people that are probably like 40 plus years old and they can really appreciate a boom box I mean I'm 36 and um, I, I 
I bought one that was retro. So, I mean, even my age, you know, 36 could work for those, but you're missing out on a massive audience, right? Of the 36 and below, 35 and below, right? So super niche related, they require that you turn and burn, um, and you're usually going to get higher cancel and refund rates, which means that the churn and burn that happens here, like it's imperative, imperative that you're always finding new, hot, awesome products to, I guess, compensate for the cancels and the refunds. You want to always be putting as many people into your membership subscription um, to compensate for the refunds and cancellations that you're going to get every month because it's inevitable. Whenever you're running a business and you're getting people into a subscription that gives them a discount only when they shop on the store, a lot like you know uh, Radio Shack is, is doing right here, right? Well, maybe four months goes by and I'm like, yo, I'm not buying anything on Radio Shack. I thought I would. It seemed like a good deal, but you know what? I, I haven't shopped on Radio Shack in a while. And so I'm going to go cancel this $9.99 a month membership with Radio Shack because I don't need it. I'm not shopping there like I thought I was. And better yet, I forgot I even had this. And so I'm just going to can't, I'm going to request a refund for my $9.99 from at least last month, because I know if I ask, they'll probably give it to me, right? A lot of people know if they just ask, they can probably get the refund, even though they agreed to the bill. And so what you're going to see with this, this uh, first model here, path number two, um, while it's wildly successful, it still has some of those elements of your typical e-com business, which is find a you know something that's super niche related um still going to need to turn and burn like you want to keep a lot of customers coming in because you know you're probably going to have a higher cancellation rate like you can people are only going to get billed ten dollars for so long before they cancel if they're not using your service so you always want to find new products to bring them back in to buy or be bringing in completely new customers so a great model i'm i know it sounds like i'm really dogging on this model but tons of companies make boat loads of money with this model, like Radio Shack, for example. I mean, they're they're great with the churn and burn. I mean, just look at you know look at their website. They've got everything. Now you're not going to be able to replicate, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to replicate this, right? Um, I get that. So if I go to electronics and go to all this stuff, you're probably not gonna be selling TV mounts and two-way radios and, and stuff like that. So I, I understand that. So what we're looking for are those things that we can replicate. We're not really selling batteries. We're not you know, really selling a lot of this stuff, but if we got a home and office, look, we could find the light stick, the this tree here, um, you know, these little um, uh, corner lights. So there's a lot of things in here that we could see and easily replicate and grab from AliExpress or from Zendrop. Does that make sense, right? And so they're great at the churn and burn when it comes to finding viral products. Look at look at Radio Shack. They're killing it. They're absolutely killing it. And click on this home and office area up here. Be aware, right? Make a list of viral products and, and things that you see are hot right now. They have 235 products just in this one list right here. And this light stick, I bought like five of these for my office. I bought them, I think, from Radio Shack, right? Now, if I come over here and <clears throat> I go over, let's just say, um, I don't know the proper term for it, but let's just say LED light. I bet you Zendrop will pull some up. Um, let's type in light stick. You gotta find the right keyword to find what you're looking for on AliExpress. Uh, let's say floor lamp. How about that? We'll find these. We just have to put in the, the right keyword. There we go. So floor lamp right here. There's tons of them. Um, and so we can replicate this, right? So 
we could there ain't how to stock of this one that means it's selling really really good now there's other options right um, and you can also go to aliexpress but here's another one so we have plenty of options here all right we can replicate what they're doing but remember where is the money really being made by selling this viral product. It's not by selling a thousand of these a day, right? Even though they have a really insane markup on these, that's crazy. Um, it's not by selling a zillion of these a day. The real money is being made right here. Right there where I highlighted it. That's where the big bucks are being made, okay? Now with path number two, or I should say path number three, um, this evergreen refill product, we're looking at the subscribe and save model or a monthly box. So <clears throat> these can be, um, you know, uh, large, or I would say broad audiences, uh, very evergreen products, so long-term, meaning that the product that you're selling isn't you're not doing as much product research you're not doing as much churn and burn um if you will because the product that people are purchasing is a product that they're very interested in in keeping so you're going to hit uh broad audiences um and also i'm just going to have to take this to a new page here but you're also going to have probably you know um <clears throat> less overall sales right volume but you're going to have less cancels and refunds so it's kind of a wash does that make sense just say yes if that makes sense sure you're gonna have less sales volume because maybe you're not selling the trendiest product that's viral right now uh but because you have people that are very passionate about what they're buying, we call these uh, passion buyers. I've been talking about these for five years, all right? So um, they, they love you and they love the product. They're not gonna cancel, which means your profits are probably going to be a little bit higher, all right? Your profits are gonna be a little bit higher. Now, an example of an evergreen or refill product, I showed these a couple of weeks ago. Um, this could be really, you know, uh, a monthly box, uh, which is like a mystery box within a niche or a subscribe and, and save product. So if you're on the past couple of webinars, um, <clears throat> Connor showed us uh, vitamin C was one of the things. So I'll just pull some of these up. Um, vitamin C. All right, let me just pull one up. <clears throat> one second here. All right, sweet. So here is just a, a I don't know what website this is. I just picked on a bottle of vitamin C. Um, so you can see what they're doing here is they know that you're gonna need more than one bottle eventually. So they bundle it up and say, hey, if you buy five bottles at once, we'll give you a 60% discount, which is really smart. You can see that right here. But they also could do, and I'm sure they have somewhere here, where you could do a subscribe uh, and save like a monthly, uh, you know, a monthly subscription. So every month you get, or every two months or every three months, they replenish this product. If you're taking vitamin C today, you know what's good for you? You're probably gonna be taking it next month and the next month and the next month. Does that make sense? All right. <clears throat> um, another one that I like to show is right here. All right, so this is a workout supplement, right? This is a broad niche, a very broad product. Why? Because a lot of people work out and most people that work out Guess what they do? They take supplements, right? They take pre-workouts, they take creatine, they take all the powders and stuff that make them, you know, uh, more shredded and, and stronger. So um, where is the money really being made off of this Kino Octane, this, this powder that makes you, um, I take it, I'm on the subscribe and save plan. Your boy's got it. Um, where's the money being made? Is it in selling one person? 
one bottle of Kino Octane that's thirty-one dollars, and I don't know, maybe his cost is twelve or something. Is that where the money is? No. The money is getting people to come over here and say, I want to auto ship and have auto be auto build every 30, 60, or 90 days and have you replenish this product for me, right? We want a we want you to replenish this, refresh this. We don't want to think about it. We're going to run out of it. We're going to need it um, over and over and over again. So you can find products just like this. There, you can find <coughs> white labels. We'll get into that in the future um, and do subscribe and save for very broad products like this. But yet another great example of what we were looking at earlier is also something like candles. Candles burn and you need to get a, um, you need to replenish those, those candles, right? Uh, so let me see if I could find this one that just launched. One sec. Now, this website that I'm about to show you uh, does not necessarily have a subscribe and save because they sell out too quickly. I haven't seen it, but this is a huge candle company and their candles are awesome. And it's brilliant what they've done because how do you sell candles and become profitable? Well, if you look at this right here, they sell the candle for 50 bucks. And the different scents, like Williamburg Sleepover, uh, Sweeter Teens, uh, you got uh, Muskoka here, you've got Good Thoughts for. And what they did was so brilliant because what they do is when they send you a candle, they send you a little um, Sharpie with it, a gold Sharpie. And you get to write a message on the candle for yourself, your spouse, your partner, your kids, your friends, whatever, give it away as a gift. And it's also a replenishable product. So these candles, when they burn and it, you love the scent, you love the product, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna buy another one. So this is a great way to take a basic product that everyone would love, but make it sexy. Make it the type of product that people would want to continue to get, that would stick out above all of the rest. It's a candle that comes with a Sharpie that you can write a message on. That's a cool, unique way to sell a candle. And you know it's gonna burn and people are gonna come back and they're gonna buy more. So if you have a subscription program to refill these candles because you love the scents and, and you, you know the candle's gonna burn every 30, 90 days, whatever it is, 60 days, um, they send you a new one, right? Now you have a customer base and it's not just a customer base, but it's a customer base that's passionate about your product and loves you. So this means that you're going to get less cancellations, you're gonna get less refunds, um, and even though you have less overall sales volume, right, you're able to reach a very broad audience and your ads should be successful long-term because candles aren't going to go out of style. You know, the viral hoverboards are and the fidget spinners are, and the, the the light, the corner lights that are LED, those are all going to phase out eventually. They're trendy products. They follow the turn and burn, but get membership subscriptions. Lots of volume, uh, build a, uh, a rebuild model, and it's brilliant, and I recommend it. I definitely recommend this path. It's a great path. It's, you can make a lot of money. I'm just pointing out that, you know, um, <clears throat> this right here is a more stable model, in my opinion. So you can hit broader audiences and you have replenishable products, less uh, you know, cancellations and refunds, and you build up a, a, a list of people that love your product. Um, the other you know, way to look at this, and I showed this the other week too, so I don't wanna repeat myself too much, but it's BarkBox. They do a monthly subscription box dogs are such a broad audience. Everybody loves everybody loves dogs, or they, hopefully most people love them. And people constantly buy things for their dogs. Like they buy new toys for their dogs, new treats for their dogs. So what BarkBox did is they built a monthly uh, mystery box. And so for $23 a month, you can get a new box valued at over $40 sent to your house for your dog every single month 
And so your month, uh, your month long dog party begins. And <clears throat> so it's full of toys and all sorts of, of different things. So BarkBox is another one of those companies that you want to become aware of. You want to study. You want to see why are they so consistent. You want to learn how did their business and revenue increase 79% to 112 million in one year? How do they do it, right? They did it because the model is a evergreen, passionate model. It is a model that isn't going to phase out. People are always going to buy stuff for their dogs. People are always going to buy toys, and you know, um, they're they're going to um, what's the word I'm looking for? Impulsively purchase things for their dogs, and they get joy when they see their dogs get new toys. I mean, there's a, a monkey um, that's on TikTok that's got like three million followers, and it, all people do is watch the little monkey open up uh, packages because it's fun to watch cute animals discover new little toys and prizes and whatnot. So that's why this worked right here. So tonight, what I wanted to do for you over the course of this hour is I wanted to show you that there are these other paths, right? And you can you can choose and, and move forward with either, any of them, right? Um, you can start thinking about how do I find hot products and get people into a membership subscription? Right now, you probably have no clue how to get a membership subscription. Well, last week, we released the Ecom Cheat Code that teaches all the inner workings of that stuff. Um, as we move forward in the Profit Power Hour, I'm going to teach a lot of, of this stuff, too. Um, I'm going to be teaching a lot of subscription products, and um, we'll be building subscription businesses. Literally, we'll find products, and we'll launch subscription businesses, and it's going to be fun, right? Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that. And then, you know, path number three is think about replenishable products. Make a list. What are products that you use? What are products that your mom or your dad or your, your kids or your dogs use that are replenishable products but that can be made unique and fun? right? Well, and also our necessities. Health is a necessity. What health products can we sell that are a necessity? Um, the fitness niche is huge. Supplements are typically a necessity. Um, you know, what type of uh, niches would would like a monthly box, right? There's people in the beard niche that, that would like a monthly box, maybe. There's the dog niche, the cat niche. There's the, the mommy niche. There's all sorts of different things that a monthly box could work for. So what I wanna do is, as we start talking more about this, I just want you to be aware. I want you to be aware, and I want you to have an aha moment, and I want you to take your business to the next level, and I want you to evolve with e-commerce and have success. So tonight was really more about showing you how to have that awareness so you can start thinking about how do you duplicate. So you can, obviously, of course you could do this. I've made, wow, a lot of money. I mean, with the churn and burn, I've made an insane amount of money. Multiple seven figures. But I can't help but think, geez, if I just had a, you know, implemented this bolt on to my churn and burn strategy, I would have made, man, who knows, tens of millions of dollars more than I already made if I just had a bolted this on with path number two. See, that's an aha moment. I look at this path, I'm like, geez, this is easy. I bolt on this one extra little thing people can buy, give them a discount, and all of a sudden, I'm making more money. No brainer, right? Path number three, I get that realization of, Adrian, you're selling dog stuff. You're in the dog niche, right? I mean, create a monthly box. Or do a, a <clears throat> subscribe and save model with like finding healthy treats and stuff like that. So there's so many things that we could sell um, on path number three, too, to build a very passionate audience that loves me and my brand and um, will continue to pay me. All right. So that's what I want you to think about this week. Um, and next week, what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the inner workings of this stuff. And, and we're going to literally look at building these businesses. We're going to look at building businesses um, for these different types of paths. 
And also next week, what we're gonna be doing is giving away a $5,000 done for you e-commerce store. I'm really excited about that. Super stoked about it. Can't wait to announce a random winner. All you have to do is be here live next week. And um, I'm gonna choose a random person and I'm just gonna have my team build you a, a Shopify store. They'll build it for you. Logo, everything, it'll be done for you is a $5,000 value. Yours completely free just for showing up. All right, so there's nothing for sale or anything like that. Um, you know, the Ecom Cheat Code promotion that we did, that was last week. I'm not, as you can see, I'm not even dropping a link for you to get it tonight or anything like that. Um, you know, we come in and we do little things like that. They're typically only for that week uh, where we mention them and offer them on this webinar, right? And there's always bonuses and discounts included. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not going to stop with just, hey, here's this one model and never talk about it again. What we're about to do is we are about to start talking a lot about these different paths. So you can shift, you can pivot. And for those of you that are falling in the you know, unfortunate um, pattern of trying to fit a square peg in a round hole, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find you a sphere that fits in the round hole, right? And you're gonna put the square peg down and you're gonna move forward. That's what we're going to do. So I hope you're excited about that. I hope you're excited about the giveaway uh, that we're gonna do next week. So make sure that you're here next week will be more like in building mode, less than rather than taking notes mode. Um, I love you all. I wish you a ton of success. I'm so happy that you're here. Thanks for bearing with me. We had a couple of little things you may not have noticed, but my computer almost died. Then my iPad did die. Um, so I had to move over here to take the notes. And um, the dogs went berserk in the background because we were bringing stuff in and out. So I uh, apologize for all of that. If you noticed it, it's not typical, but today has been a busy day traveling back home. So again, be here next week. We're going to do the $5,000 giveaway done for you Shopify store announcement. We're going to choose a random winner and I uh, cannot wait to see you there. And uh, it's 9 p.m. EST every Tuesday night, no matter if it's a family's birthday party or, you know, my dogs are going crazy and I'm traveling um, or I'm just sick or not feeling well. I always show up to teach you to expand your mind, to enlighten you, to help you have that aha moment, to support you and push you and motivate you to succeed because I want you to win. That's my goal. That's why this webinar exists. This webinar exists so you can win. I'm here to help you do it. Again, this is Adrian Morrison. I love you all. I'll see you next week, same place, same time, right here on the Profit Power Hour. And I hope you have a ton of success between now and then. Enjoy the Facebook group. Let's chat about what we talked about tonight. And let's start doing the research. Look at these stores. Look at the products they're selling and look at what model they're using. Is it the subscribe and save? Is it the membership model? What are they doing? Make a list and let's go. I'll see you all next week. Good night.